I'm ready. I'm with uh, Don Hurst. We're demonstrating coral fragging with an inland coral saw. It's a wet uh, band saw with a diamond blade manufactured by Inland Craft. And Don, you're going to take over here? Yeah, I have a couple of corals today that uh, sadly are not doing so well. This is an ACAN. You can see it's got at least uh, three polyps here. Um, and uh, unfortunately it got left under a, a power head when uh, the tank went dry and, and uh, a lot of air bubbles got blown on it and it uh, uh, was should not I? doing well. Should I be saying shame on you for that? <laughs> yes, you can do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, poor Acan. Um, but these three polyps seem to be bouncing back and I just want to get rid of all of the uh, rest of the material that may... Uh, have some, uh, uh, you know, dead uh, tissue attached. And so here we go. This is a variable speed saw. Yep. Diamond blade. I can actually feel comfortable putting my finger on that. We've got a little bit of water involved on the saw, so you want to run fresh water through the saw. Water is added through the reservoir the tank yep. that I just dropped in the back. You can see it. Moving there. Clean water on top, not salt water, and it's going to drain out the bottom. You can put it in the tray as we have done here, or you can, uh, there's a tube that comes with it, you can drain it into a bucket. Okay, let's, let's see what we're going to do with it. off a big chunk of the bottom of this too just so it fits better in my display. Very nice. Get it back in the water. And the next piece you're doing is this is a Fabia and as you can see it's got a little bit of dye bath on this. For some reason this one polyp split into four new polyps. And then this one uh, receded. I don't know why, but uh, I'm going to cut that off. It's unsightly and, and certainly isn't doing any good to the rest of the coral. Again, I don't need all this substrate on the bottom, so... Now if I wanted, I could come in here and cut a few of these uh, polyps off, make a couple of frags out of it, and maybe trade it with my uh, local club or, or at my uh, local fish store as well, and maybe uh, pick up some other kind of coral in the meantime. And there you have it. We've got two videos will be, that are posted here. One important thing to remember, always when you're done, wipe down the saw, rinse off the salt water that you've got here from the coral. Salt water is never a good thing for the saw. Clean it up as best you can. Okay. Don, thank you very much. Thank kindly. you for your time. Thank you.